So today I'm skipjack fishing dirty water out here. Uh, it's pretty cold, it's the end of January. Uh, it's a really, really sunny day. It's awesome out here. And what I'm doing, I'm just casting the float out with the jig three to four feet down and reeling it right in. So it's gonna kind of put the, the jig, the little grub, right in the ideal strike zone. I want it down about two to three feet. I'm just gonna reel it in. The waves are gonna do a little bobbing for me. It's kind of wavy out here today. Uh, a lot of shad and stuff are getting dumped right in here. So it's working out, got a few. Get back to it, cast out, see if I can get a few more in the bucket. we go got him right there at the end bam nailed it it's that easy float little crappie jig and just reel it right in so came up right to the bank nailed it wish I got that one it was a good hit so let this guy get crazy all right come on fish so the way I like to hold these you grip them right there turn them upside down like that they stop doing their little dance so this would be an awesome uh, hook one of these on for the, uh, the entire thing, you know. Just throw a whole fish on. So that's a good size. So I'm going to throw this one in the bucket, get fishing, get a few more. So right here in front of me, about probably eight feet out, there's two minnows out there about this big, stray minnows. That's what I'm trying to mimic out here. So, you know, these fish, they get just, they just, they're stray minnows. That's what these fish are targeting. So I was catching bass with the same, same idea, same principle. And that's what I'm doing out here with the skipjack. I'm looking, you know, trying to imitate a stray minnow out there, just doop to do doing its thing. That skipjack, they're just gonna come up, ambush it, take it out. So do some more casting, see what I can get. Okay, right in front of me, right in front of me, I just had one go after some of these minnows I was talking about. There's the minnow right here in front of me. God, he's like, he's about a three to four incher. So I'm gonna cast right here, I'm gonna shorten my float. Or I'll, I'll leave it how it is. Let's see if I can get these skipjack. They're out here just nailing fish. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there we go, got him. Nailed him. He's a little guy. This is just, oh. Now this, that's bass bait right there. Whoa. Dropped him. So, check that out. Man, uh, bass bait. So keep this in mind, guys. You're out there bass fishing or anything, you can get some of these little guys, mimic some of these baits. These are herring remember so real shiny these are fast you get you some big old bass out there in the middle throw something that looks like this sure bound you're sure to catch one that's about it you're, you're bound to get one so for sure oh, oh there he is got him ah <laughs> yeah Hey guys, so as uh, yesterday, it's about 24 hours later, I had to cut my video short. 
and I'm back in action. I put my camera in a bag of rice, dried it out, it's good to go. Uh, well, I was going to be showing you, I got about two to three pounds of ice in the cooler here and about a half gallon of lake water and about a quarter cup to a half uh, cup of salt roughly. So the idea is here to get a super sub-freezing slurry. You're going to put the fish in there, shock them, get them frozen. You know, you don't want them to stink up or anything. You want to keep them as fresh as possible. And this is a great way to do it. At the same time, it's going to be like brining and toughening those fish up a little bit. So you guys you can check out a bunch of other videos, brining, freezing, works great. So I'm going to get these fish out here. You know, I'm going to bag these up in my uh, grocery bag, throw them in the freezer, double them up. They're uh, really good. They're tough. It's like I caught them yesterday. Not much I can tell a difference in them. Still got a good fishy smell to them. So I'm going to see if I can turn these into some big old catfish later. So stay tuned. Oh, yeah! There it is. Okay guys, so let's make a little sense of the fishing that I was doing out there. One, muddy water. Doesn't have to be muddy water, but through the winter you're gonna have a lot of brown water out in the Tennessee River. Uh, this will apply to a lot of other river systems, but me, out in the Tennessee River, this is what I'm doing. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I target these things year round when I can't make it to the dam in the spring and summer when the spawn starts hitting hard and I need some fresh bait fast. So, uh, I have a great ability to go up and down, fish a few places, see if they're biting, and lucked out. This is my go-to places, and this is how they work. So if you can find some similar places like that, this is what we're going to be doing, or what you'll be doing when you're out there on the water. So first off, I want to start about the fish. Like I say, they're predatory fish. They look up. So. If you saw a couple of those videos, what they do is they do a swiping action. So they're chasing the little fish, they're gonna swipe. And that's what you want these fish to do. So having that swiping action, you wanna keep those baits high into the water column. You know, I've talked about this before in some other videos. You wanna keep them up near the surface. So let's say it's, I'd say the top 30% of the water column is where you wanna be. So if you're in that top 30%, of the from the surface down that's where you're going to be catching these fish you can go down deep you'll catch them uh, in the middle of the day you may want to go deeper and change your rig up so instead of having a float here like I was doing uh, put on a lead weight drop it down get it down where the fish are so anyway so what I'm doing so let's say this is me out here fishing and what I look for specifically is rock bank like rock piles, gravel rock, rocky stuff. And if I can't find that, what I'm looking for is like a shelf. And that's what I'm looking for here. So if I can't find the rocks in a, uh, a nice little area, I'm looking for a shelf that's right in here. So this may be like three feet, four feet, and then this is gonna drop down to like 10 feet, 15 feet or whatever. And if you can get the shelf right here close to the bank, it's great if you can't look for that shelf that's out there in deep water there's a lot of ledges out there in the river so if you can get on that little shallow part and that like four to five feet three feet and then bring it over into that like 10 to 15 feet bring it into that now with that being said so the fish are looking up you're in the shallow water you want to keep that bait eight to three feet 18 inches to three feet below the float and when you're reeling it in, that's gonna draw it up to that top percentage I was talking about roughly. So keep that in mind. You're gonna be dragging the, the jig down here. This is why I was throwing a black blue bottom with a 
chartreuse tail. Anyway, let's say it's like 10 to 15 feet. You want to drop that bait down about three to four feet behind your bait. Uh, if you have, if you can, throw a little lead shot on there. They'll drop it down a little bit. So, you know, you're putting it up there in that three to four feet. You know, you're going to drag it. You're going to get right in those strike zones. You're going to get a lot of fish. So remember, you got to drag that bait over top of them. They're profiling minnows. So you want to get it above the fish, drag it right over top of them. They're going to go up and nail it. And with the areas that I'm talking about, so zones that I key in on when I'm looking for them here. So where I fish a lot right here is a little outlet or an inlet, whatever. When the water starts flowing, it's going to be pushing bait out. This is when my back-to-back uh, -back white bass, uh, big white bass action video. You know, I was in this little area. The water was getting pushed out. A lot of bait was getting dumped, catching a lot of fish. Same thing with skipjack. So uh, this little pink line right here I drove, I'd probably go about a quarter mile. No further than a quarter mile into that inlet. So you want to stay right in that front, like two, 300 feet of the, uh, the inlet here. That's where a lot of fish are going to congregate. They're uh, relatively open water a lot of times so they're gonna stay at the mouth right here the other one a ledge if you know if you can go down about two three hundred feet five hundred feet below that outlet there's still gonna be a lot of bait hugging the uh, the bank here this is where I go uh, catfish fishing there's a lot of bait out here a lot of uh, skipjack hugging it so and it has a shelf like this so it's about four feet here then there's a drop off with a ledge and that's what I'm doing I'm keying in right here right at this ledge so the fish are gonna strike right before it comes up over that ledge. That's where I get a lot of hits. So if you can find these out there along the river, lakes, whatever, mostly in the river systems, that's uh, what you're gonna find out here. You know, uh, if you can get up, like I said, you know, rock piles where it's steep drop off, you can catch them at nighttime under the lights at a lot of boat ramps. I catch them a lot there as well. Uh, other little steep gravel rock bed drop offs. So those are the areas that you want to look for when you're fishing for these. Places where water will dump in, rock piles, you know, steep drop-offs, under lights, things like that at night. So I may do a little night video. I'll show you guys what I do at night. I fish a lot of boat ramps. Catch a ton of fish out here doing that. Uh, you catch tons of skipjack at night. I'll probably do a bamboo pole. That's a ton of fun. So the other one, the line pound right here, 6 to 15 recommend. Uh, anything 10 pound line or greater that's what I fish most often 10 and 12 they, they fight hard I want to get them in but if you want to have a lot of fun drop down like a 6 8 or even a 4 man you'll have a ton of fun out there awesome fish love catching them so take some of these tips tricks and tactics go catch some skipjack get out there on the water have fun fishing thanks for watching guys